Hello everyone, in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to make a pause menu in Godot 4. To get started, let's create a new scene, click user interface, we can call this pause menu. Now, add in a margin container, add in a VBox container, and now let's go ahead and add in some buttons. For the first button, I'll make this a resume. Next one can be a quit button. I think this is enough for now. So let's title these in the text box. So resume and quit. All right, now let's go ahead and save this. Over in our main, let's go to project, project settings in our input map. Let's do a new pause input. I'm gonna set this to escape. Now let's go ahead and add a script to our main, or if you already have one, you can use that. We'll go ahead and delete this ready function in here. We will type if input dot is action just pressed pause. Then we can pass that for now. Let's create a new function called pause menu. And here we need to reference our pause menu. So if we pass for now, let's go ahead and drag and drop our pause menu into the actual scene. Drag it like this. We can scale it up if we would like. I've just gone ahead and scaled it up and positioned it into the middle. And now back in our script, we can go ahead and reference it. We'll also create a variable called pause. We'll set this to false for now. And now inside of our pause menu function, we'll check if pause. If it is pause, we need to unpause. So pause menu dot hide. And also engine dot timescale. We'll get one. Now, else, pause menu will be shown because we are pausing. And then engine dot time scale will get zero. And now we will just set pause to the opposite of pause. So we'll get whatever value it is not. And let's also put pause menu into our pause function. And now if we make sure that it is hidden, if we press play, we'll be able to move around. And if we press stop, we will no longer be able to move around, but we will be able to access our buttons. And obviously right now we can press escape to unpause. However, our buttons do not work yet. So for right now, let's go ahead and put our pause menu into our camera. Just in case if we want to ever move around the camera, the pause menu will follow it. And since it is no longer a direct child of main, we will have to delete our on ready and reference it once more. This time being in the camera. Now let's hover to that scene. Let's create a new script. Let's connect our two buttons. So our resume button and our quit button, both on pressed. For the quit function, let's go ahead and just type get tree dot quit. Now in our resume button, we need to reference our main function. So we know that it is two spots above. So we can add an on ready. Let's call it main. This will just be a two above reference. And now we will just call main dot pause menu. And that's it. If we press play now, if we press pause, we can resume. And if we press quit, it'll quit the game. If you would like, we can add a blur effect to blur the background game to put more emphasis on the actual pause menu. You can do this by creating a color rect. Make sure that this is behind everything. And I've just gone ahead and scale it up. Let's so over to our inspector. Go to material. Click on material. Click new shader material in here. In shader. Press new shader. Create shader. Now let's hover there. Now let's go ahead and type uniform. Sampler. 2D. Screen. Underscore texture. Let's type hint, screen texture, and filter, linear mipmap. Create a new uniform. Bloat with amount, and we will limit this to a range. So hint range 0, 0.0 and 5.0, semicolon. In our fragment, we will create a new vector 4. So this to let's 
call it color. Set this to texture LOD screen texture screen UV and our amount semicolon and we'll finally set our constant color to this new color and now that's it it'll go invisible however if you go over to shader parameters let's set them out to let's say three for now if you press play when we press pause you'll see everything in the background gets a little bit blurry and we can mess with this value and it'll decrease or increase the blurriness. So as you see in the background, it gets blurry. Anyways, guys, hope you found this story helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.